let us start a new chapter called sex right now we have been using this word word set in in a pretty general sense in the sense that we say a set of books right set of books okay and and say a, a set of rooms right a set of clothes we we do use it in this sense set of clothes okay now now what does math have to do with something called set which is which is a pretty pretty simple and, and a generic way of referring to 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 normally a, a, a group right whatever it is but it eventually means we are talking about a group right now in our general terms if we say let us let us name say set of 10 best footballers of all times right 10 best footballers of of all times right now what happens okay what happens if if i if i ask this question to say say 20 people then then they come up with the say say 20 different combinations right they 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 tell you 10 different names or, or maybe one or two may be the same but but others may differ and they may have their valid varying reasons for 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 writing what they wrote correct now when we are discussing a, a group in maths set in maths i cannot let it be as subjective as this seems right so so whenever i define a rule there to form a set i want that set to be to be unique in in maths i want this to be unique okay i i want it to be unique now for it to be unique i will have to rule out such things such subjective things right you might say that that the 10th best footballers according to fifa ranking in 2016 that will make it a definite set right so 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 in maths when we refer to the sets we say that 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 set a uh, uh, set is a group of is a group of well defined objects well well defined objects now what do we mean by well defined well defined is another another chaotic thing to say it, it again kind of brings in subjectivity but in maths it does not bring out a subjectivity the definition of well defined is 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 defined in such a manner defined in in such a manner that manner that whosoever prepares the list whosoever prepares a list prepares the, the the set always prepares the prepares a unique one always so you give to one million people and they always come up with the same thing that is what well defined is okay so 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 when you say maybe maybe a group of the set containing the vowels right now now that may suddenly become not well defined right because then people may ask you oh, what language are you talking about so then if i say the 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 set of set of vowels in English language 
in English language. This becomes this becomes very defined, right? This becomes very defined because because there are only only five of them: a, e, i, o, and u, right? There's a definite way in which it is written. It is it is kind of enclosed between the curly brackets, and normally a set is given a name which is in capitals. We'll come to that later. But this is how it should look, right? So whoever prepares that list, then then it it is called called well defined. That people are forced by the rules to arrive at the same thing. Okay, so you can say. The the precisely defined, well defined is precisely defined, and defined till such a point that it becomes unique, right? So that there is no room for subjectivity, there is no room for 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 kind of self interpretation. Okay, that is what is called well defined. So set is set is a well defined object, group of object. Right <clears throat> now, we'll try to try to set some rules for, for for this. So so sets are okay. So so some rules for sets. Right, some rules for sets. The first rule is that the the sets are represented by the sets are represented by by capital letters. Okay, so capital letters. Okay. So normally, normally you name the set. See, not necessarily V, though. Though this is indicated that you are dealing dealing about. Vowels. You could have also named it as, say, a set A or, or or something. But but you have to specify it in capitals, okay? In capital letters. So the sets are represented by capital letters, right? Now the members, the 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 members of this, those. Which belong to the set are either called objects or members or elements, right? So the entities, okay, the entities that belong to the set, that belong to the set, as per the given rule, as As per the given rule, are called members. Objects or elements or elements. You you, you can call them either. Right. Get that? Now these elements are enclosed within within the curly bracket that we that we formally call braces, right? So 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 the elements, so the elements are enclosed enclosed within within braces right within braces and are separated by commas okay so so as you so so giving a giving a capital letter name to the set that is the first thing so so this is you can you, you can say the first thing right this the first rule and the second rule is that this is this is 
enclosed within the braces so so this is the second rule right and uh, no this is this is the the, the the third rule they're called the definition is there right and, and they are they are separated by commas so so this comma also comes from the third rule right now now one of the very logical things okay to to say is that the order in which the elements are written does not matter so the order in which the elements are written in which the elements are written doesn't matter doesn't matter okay it doesn't matter so so if you ask what are the vowels and, and someone kind of replies it is it is like like o e a i u you cannot logically mark him wrong correct correct you you won't be, be able to mark someone wrong fine so 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 that's why we say that the order order this order does not matter correct so so you, you'll be using braces and and the commas right and and they're called members or objects or elements these are formal names right right and 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 capital letters correct there's one more thing to it if there is a repetition it is counted as one okay the repetitions are counted as one or they can be there right repetitions are written as one so 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 suppose suppose example someone someone asks you the the letters forming the word mathematics the word mathematics 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 what what would you write maybe maybe you you name this set l and m is a, a letter a is a letter t is a letter h is again a letter e is again a letter right since they become elements they are being separated by commas right so so but m is already there right we are free to use it as many times as we wish so we do not write this m and, and there is another a also there so i do not write that as well and there is a t there so i do not write that t then i come to i right and then to c and then to s right so it is all like that the thematics okay so so rep repetitions if, if at all there are repetitions we do not write them okay so so someone saying that that v is is a a e i e o u o u e i is as correct as someone saying v is equal to a e i o u okay okay now there are certain standard sets which which we which we use by their letter notations and, and so they are reserved for 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 those entities for example and it's very logical as well okay some some standard some standard set notations
so so when you talk about when you talk about when you talk about the when you talk about say say in in capitals right and normally it's kind of done like this to separate it out from any other n that you write okay so so n is the set of natural numbers so so it stands for for the set of natural numbers the set of natural numbers normally okay if you do not say anything about it it will be taken as if you are you are trying to define the natural numbers otherwise you may assign it to assign it to something else provided you do not have any other alternatives these are standard so so it's best to let them be okay and, and the second one is is z okay zalane it stands for for the set of integers right it stands for the set of integers okay and and then there is q right it stands for the set of the rational numbers right the rational numbers okay and then you have capital r okay so so this is actually the set of of real numbers these are the set of real numbers and and then you can say say put a w okay that is the set of of whole numbers whole numbers okay t is reserved for the set of irrational numbers the set of irrational numbers right m and say z plus it is the set of of if you write it as as z plus it stands for the set of z stands for integer z plus stands for set of of positive positive integers right if, if you if you happen to say q plus we mean the set of positive rational numbers okay and and if i am kind of representing something like r plus again is the set of of positive real numbers same with the negative right so 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 if you say r minus it is the set of of negative negative real numbers and and if it was q minus right if it was q minus it will be set of negative rational numbers right correct so so you can you can put in your own own or this thing by by putting a, a positive or negative but but normally they are reserved for this and and if you do not have say any other option then by specifying you can use them but it's better not to if you have alternatives with you right